Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is an overview video of the new features contained with the 5.54 release of Axis Camera Station. As always, please take a look at the release notes to see exactly what is contained within this release. In this release, we have improved our action rules by having an action that can turn specific rules on and off. Here, I've created a toggle button as the trigger, and then I will use the new action to turn on and off two rules that send mobile notifications. Here, you can see that when I use the toggle button, I control the action rules and turn them on and off. This can be used as a way of setting and unsetting alarm conditions. And although I've used a toggle button in this example, an alarm panel output or a similar trigger could be used. Another useful feature is that we can now use digital presets in views. Here, I'm creating a digital preset by right-clicking in the image and saving that position. Note that you can also do this in the configuration page, which is also where you can remove the presets. When we create a view, you can now use those presets we have created. This can be really useful in high resolution cameras, as well as our multi and single sensor panoramic cameras, as you can create specific views from the larger overview to help operators focus on important areas of the image. As well as being able to display the presets in the live view, they can be used in the replay of video, which can help operators efficiently find video of interest. But note the specification of the client, the resolution and bit rate of the recorded video will affect the playback performance. The next element I wish to highlight is within Access Secure Entry, the access control element of Access Camera Station. We now have access control within the permissions menu. This provides greater control over the user's functionality and you can now create a user profile with only access control functionality. This is ideal for say a receptionist who administrates the access control cards but doesn't need to access the video from the surveillance cameras. The final element of this release I wish to highlight is the integration of Imperial wireless locks. We can now connect up to 16 wireless locks to a single door controller, giving you greater flexibility in the design of your access control solutions. Please take a look at the dedicated video that highlights the integration for more details. You can find the link to that video within the description of this video. I hope you found this video of interest. Thank you for watching.